Hey YouTube, it is the 7th of May 2024. This is my 2007 Yamaha. It's a G29 gasoline powered golf cart. It's a relatively new project. We've done a couple, three videos on it. Um, we got the thing, uh, cleaned it up, tuned it up, serviced it well, and uh, we did some wheels and tires. We got a steering wheel. Um, in process, I ordered the wrong adapter. It's coming tomorrow. Finish that video tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, the weather is just now turning nicer. It's been raining cats and dogs here for a week. We actually took off, went to Eastern Oregon, um, and got out of the rain for a while. But it's been raining even this morning. But sun's finally coming out. It's supposed to start getting nice. And uh, I've got a use for this golf cart. We're going to do a, a benefit 50-50 drawing in the pit area at the dirt track locally here. Willamette Speedway is hosting us uh, for the Relay for Life. So um, pretty cool. And it's a great opportunity for us. And uh, I'm going to take one of our other volunteers. And we're going to cruise pit area and sell 50-50 tickets on Saturday. Today is Tuesday. Okay. So I really wanted the wheels and tires on it done where they wanted the steering wheel on it almost done we'll get that done tomorrow um, I just took it for a drive it's still in stock uh, form as far as the governor and she goes 12 miles an hour which is plenty fast enough for where we're going but there will be a future video where we turn the wick up on this thing a little bit so wheels and tires made a huge huge difference on it steering wheel is in my opinion like the second biggest thing you can do to improve the looks of these um, third is going to be seats and uh, I really wanted to get the wheels and tires on this before I purchased uh, seat upholstery for it um, I really don't have time to sew my own um, I'm behind on a project or two in that department already so uh, and uh, these are available and cost effective so I bought a full set, when I mean full set, for the two front seats, two front seats, the seat bottom, seat back, and for a rear seat that is, doesn't exist today. Um, I anticipate putting a rear seat on, um, so I thought, well, let's just buy them as a complete set um, rather than it would cost extra to buy it later. So. I, uh, they have arrived. I want to get them out, maybe uh, hang them on out here in the sun and let them kind of stretch out a little bit. And I want to see what they look like. Um, what I decided to do is to go a diamond stitch in black because it's saying I'm going to leave it white, not going to paint it. And everything else on it is black. So I think the tan does just doesn't look right uh, on that seat. You can see I did some repairs on it. Um, just because I didn't know if I was going to need it before I got time to do upholstery. But um, rather than do any more with the seat that's on it, even cleaning it up, let's get the box out. Let's get the new seat covers. It's not going to take that long to put them on. All right. Box over here. This is an eBay purchase. Uh, I probably won't give you a link. Remember, they're eBay auctions. I already bought it. The auction's gone. Got to be real careful at this point. So slide your thumb right there so you get no embedment with that blade. But you know what's under there. You know it's there. I did put a little piece of cardboard there to help someone. Right. Let me drag them out of this box. Save you a little. Uh, well done. Even marked rear seat, huh? Nicely done. Front seat. What is this? Verify fitment on all 
pieces before you install it. So this is a staple on seat cover set. Oh, let's read it real quick. Remove seat from cart. Remove arms and hinges. Center new seat cover over old, pulling corners evenly. Snug up seat covers and temporarily tack or staple into place. Check for a proper fit before proceeding. Make adjustments as necessary. Staple permanently. Okay. Well, well instructed. Okay. And they gave me a golf cart keychain. Can you see that? Isn't that cute? That's cute. Yeah. Seat front. We'll probably put these on tomorrow. The brand is Husky. So this would be the back. Oh, cool. So basically you staple these on, then you go back and then you staple this on over top your staples. Okay. To hide them most of the staples because you'll put a hundred staples putting the upholstery on but maybe 15 to put that cover on all right let me fit these and then i'll bring it back all right first impressions these are great they're gonna really they're very snug which is awesome because they're gonna fit good without wrinkles um obviously i'll take the seats off we'll take them upstairs i have an upholstery area upstairs here at the shop um i'll kind of trim this up this is my repair because the whole corner was gone the foam and all so i had an old seat oh, in fact it's sitting out here um off of the 08 yamaha i had to buy a whole new seat which wasn't cheap um so i went and cut a piece of foam and a piece of vinyl off of it to do this repair because again the corner was gone getting in and out of the cart i guess so yeah it's going to be great. So tomorrow, um, we'll do this upholstery. So I'll bring you back in about two seconds. And it is tomorrow. Yes, it is tomorrow. We are now upstairs at the barn. I came out last night, actually, and pulled the seats off. Um, the, obviously, the bottom seat just comes off. The back seat, you just got to pull the... I think there's four bolts on each side. And, uh, yeah, then take the armrests off the seat bottom and the little clips, and you're good to go. So, the upholstery's up here, the seats are up here, kind of a mess up here. I haven't even finished my Acti seats yet. And here we are jumping ahead with these. That's all right. So, let's do the seat bottom first. So, I'll move over the fabric for the back. Um, this is good quality uh, stuff you guys um, it really feels good so we're gonna look and see if anything is marked front I don't think it is I think it's a pretty symmetrical seat and that it isn't gonna matter which direction it's on Nothing marked front, so front or back doesn't matter. Okay. Ugh, gotta get up here and do some cleaning. We're gonna set the seat down. Oh, yeah. I see a center mark.
could do is the other side first. I don't have to reach it. I'm just going to center my seams at about the same place on those curves. And now I can do this side. It'd be easier if it was warmed up. It's kind of chilly this morning. It's in the 40s. Got it. Okay, so we've got to recenter these on our radiuses again. Best we can. Okay. How do my tables get so dirty? Just a dirty place, I guess. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. Now, we're gonna pull this tight and we're gonna drop some staples in and then we're gonna flip it back over. We're just gonna do the centers on both ends, the centers on both sides. And then we're going to flip it over and make sure it's square, aligned, and tight enough. If none of the above or some of the above isn't accurate, we'll take it back apart and we'll do it again. That's why we're only going to drop in one or two staples so we can get them apart. Okay? That's that. So, for uh, staplers, I didn't get them out yet this morning. Hang on. So, these are upholstery staplers. Um... They shoot a wire type staple and they have this extended nose piece on them which really allows you to get into tight corners and so forth. These are really, really good. Um, I ordered this Porter Cable a number of years ago, probably 10, 12 years ago now, um, through a Home Depot. Um, and then I picked this one up from an upholstery guy when he went out of business and then he went back in business. He probably wished he had it back. Um, so anyway, I call this the short one and this the long one. Um, and I keep short staples in my short one and longer staples in my longer one. So that's the width and that's the length. So, uh, yeah, for this probably ain't going to matter. It's nice and thick. We can use long staples, but, uh, I'll we'll probably just use short ones because there's no reason not to. I think we got to. A good amount of staples in there yep it's loaded it's loaded so I've got my big compressor downstairs aired up and somewhere I've got an air hose up here all right let's do some fitting shall we to get these nice and tight we can kind of compress that foam a little bit Put a staple or two like that. Ooh, popped them right out. Popped them right out. Uh, all right, be that way. All right, let me pull them. All right, I did a fold over and hit them a few times. I put a lot of pressure on it.
folding it over again. see if we got her centered in tight and dirty definitely got her dirty uh, I don't like how baggy we got it on the sides don't like it at all I don't think it's come over far enough I think what we've got is just too cold. So rather than jeopardize it, I think we're going to warm it up, which means it's hard to do here at the barn, um, but uh, we're going to have to. So we're going to postpone this for a couple hours and try to warm things up. All right, guys, it's been a couple hours actually. Um, I have to go pick up some parts. So the sun's out, so it's warming up pretty good up here in the attic of the barn <clears throat> i had a couple of heaters running up here as well so things are nice and warm and you know warm to the touch so this is gonna pull on much better now okay definitely worth the wait and didn't do it right you could spend this was uh like 160 bucks something like that so you want to do it you want to do it nice but everything is good as far as fit is concerned, we just need to pull a little tighter. I think we'll do the ends first. It's got a, a hump here in the middle, which, you know, without holding this down with a, a support, which it's, there is none, you know, it might do this a little bit until the material settles down. So we're going to pull it side to, or yeah, side to side, and then we'll do front to rear. Okay. So, yeah, that's going to be great. And then we'll do this. Okay, cool. Let's do it. these out so we can get this a little tighter.
Do the other end. Sweet. Yeah. So this one needs to pull quite a bit. I can feel it. I can feel it. And by forgot to turn the compressor back on. Are you better? Oh yeah. I oiled it too. Okay. Nice and tight.
This is where the uh, hinges bolt on there. I'm going to try to avoid them. Let me finish this, I'll bring it back. All right, boys and girls, this one looks good. We're gonna take it down, bolt the accessories on, put it back on the golf cart. Seat bottom accessories are on. And uh, yeah, looks good. Now we'll go do the back, right? Even the hump's not bad. I mean, it's a little better than I thought once we strap this front and rear down. It looks good. Here we go. What's the back going on? I found that I'm going to pull here um, because that gives it a better tension. I was having a really hard time getting staples to hold. If I pulled this so tight, just had so much spring back. So we'll sneak up on that um, starting from in here and going that way. I think we'll get the around the corners first on you know the left and the right side. Do the centers last. So this is where we started. I'm gonna flip this up so you can see. It's pulled it fairly tight. This is the bottom, you know, faces down. It's got the seam in it. It's good for them. They did good. Um, so I think this is gonna go on just great. Very happy so far. But let me uh, get this stapled up. And uh, yeah, we'll get it out. So to cover the staples, the kit came with this uh, sewn together material to kind of go over the staples with and, you know, used less staples to put the cover down. So that's what we'll do. Um, it will show a little bit. It won't show a lot kind of thing. All right, here we go. All right, guys, got it all stapled around. We have to trim it yet. And I'll put that little cover over it. Flip this thing up. This is right side up. And she's looking really good. Nice. Pretty good quality. Of course, sit out in the sun. A couple of these little wrinkles will go away as things kind of find their correct home. All right. Let me uh, run around and trim this up. And then we'll staple that edge over it. And we'll go put it back on. All right. We got the 
edging on. It came up a little short. But I started on the bottom, so I don't know that it even shows at all. Don't care. And there we go. Finished product. Let's go put it on. Here we go. All right, guys. Putting the back seat back on. These are the downspouts for the gutters. If you don't know, Yamaha has a gutter system. So if it rains, the water is, goes down these downspouts and down under the cart. Um, I was getting some rattle out of this when I was driving it. So I put some daubs of clear silicone adhesive on i get this at harbor freight five six bucks something like that so i put some dabs on it here and there and that's to glue that down kind of act like a gasket and uh, hold that thing from rattling okay it's got stainless screws to put it down with so we'll get those things screwed in there and it'll be rattle free here we go all right boys and girls the seats are done and they do look Mighty fine, mighty fine, mighty fine. Good quality. Yep, nice and heavy. Good fit. Reasonable installation. Yeah. Husky. It says Husky. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get the tag. Husky Parts Company. Yep, 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 yep. They look great. Got the steering wheel done today. Got another video on that. Yeah, this thing is cool. So, I'm just uh, going to detail this thing up. And it's going to be ready to go work on Saturday at the races. Yeehaw. Okay, guys. Appreciate you watching the video. Thumbs up on the way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, share my channel with a friend. We've got uh, lots of the golf cart stuff that's out there from carts we've done in the past. And uh, we'll no doubt do some more in the future. They're kind of fun to do. So uh, catch you next time.